UFC lightweight division bout. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you can be in real trouble. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. We go inside the octagon. Here's Ladies the and gentlemen, voice. this fight Who's is three up? rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of one win, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Yeah! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler holding a professional record of 30 wins, 12 losses, two draws, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Nick the Cardi Lawrence. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. After a big win by submission his last time out, we'll see. What he does for an encore here tonight. Huge victory is the... Time out against a high-level opponent. Now an even higher-ranked opponent stares in front of him. The octagon door is closed. We'll see if he can pull a beautiful jump with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He did a great job securing. but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position, we'll see who has the advantage. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag armbar here. Get a finish here. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense oh, from the bottom. In trouble. Oh, and there's the tap. So he submits him with the arm ball. How about that? Great job. Great performance. Holy smokes. What a fight. 
Yeah, really impressive work out of him here tonight. He had to work for it, no doubt about it, but a nice job to isolate and ultimately secure the arm and then get the tap from the arm bar. So a pretty submission finish turned in by that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Yeah! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot...